Okay, so this is 4D gradient. That's question number 11. We know the y-intercept is 3. And here the line has a gradient of minus 2 thirds, which means it goes down 2 and goes across 3. Down 2 and a run of 3. Use the gradient to find the y coordinate when the line is going to be uh, find the y coordinate when the line is 6. So if I've gone across 3 I could go down another 2 and across 3 and I would be at x equals 6 and since I went down 2 the y coordinate would be negative 1. And to get to 9, I need to go down across another 3. So if I go down 2, then across another 3, I'll be at 9. And my y value would now be another 2 down. So y would be equal to negative 3. And what would be the x-intercept? Um, if I've got to use the gradient to do this, then I'm thinking <clears throat> I'm at the point here, which is 3 and 1. And my gradient is negative 2, 1, 3. But I want to go down 1. I want to go down 1. So I want to go down negative 1. So I'd have to go over 3 on 2. Therefore I go down 1 and I go over 3 on 2. So 3 plus 3 on 2 is um, 6 plus 3 on 2, or 9 on 2, or 4.5. And question number 3, what would be the x-intercept of the gradient change to the following? Okay, so I might like to move now to some algebra. I know that my y-intercept is 3. So if my gradient is negative a half x plus 3, to find the x-intercept, I make y equal to 0. Move the 3 over, I get negative 3 equals negative a half x. x will equal negative 3 times negative 2. x will equal 6. Looking at the next one, y equals negative 5 on 4x plus 3. 0 equals negative 5 on 4x plus 3, negative 3 equals negative 5 on 4x, 4 times negative 3 is negative 12 equals negative 5x, um, negative 12 on negative 5 equals x, x equals 12 fifths, and it's positive. Okay, so they're looking at part C1 and 2.